Hello all, welcome to part three of TestNG training series. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to auto generate a Java class having at the rate test, TestNG test method in Eclipse IDE to save your time. Okay, in Eclipse IDE, if you want to create a class having at the rate test annotated TestNG method, it will take some time, right? First, you have to create a class, then you have to go inside the class code and then write a method. And on the top of the method, you have to write at the rate test annotation. All this you have to do. But there is a shortcut where you can directly create a class with at the rate test, one of the sample method, okay? Having at the rate test annotation. How to do that in Eclipse ID? I'm going to practically show you, okay? Auto generating test ng class with test method in Eclipse ID, okay? How to do that? A class with a sample at the rate test method will be automatically generated on selecting to create a test ng class in Eclipse ID. How this is possible? Okay, let me show you practically. In the previous session, we already have created this Maven project. Okay, and also in the previous session itself, we have already installed test ng Eclipse ID plugin to confirm whether test ng Eclipse ID is already installed in this Eclipse ID. You can see on the right side, there is a test ng option. This will not come if you have not installed test ng Eclipse ID plugin. On the top of that, if you want to double confirm, you can go to window, show view, and select other, and search for test ng. If you're getting this test ng option, that means test ng Eclipse ID plugin is already installed. On the top of that, if you go to the pom.xml file of this uh, Maven project, you can see that under dependencies, the library of test ng is already added, okay? So by making sure that all these things are already there, now I'm going to show you how to create a class, okay? Having at the rate test, test ng test method directly, okay? So for that, I'll choose SRC test Java. I'll create a package first, okay? So let me create a package, say pack one. Now right click on this package, select new, and select other option, okay? Select other option. There are two ways, guys. Either you can directly search for test ng here, test ng folder with test ng class will come, or other ways you can manually scroll down until you find something known as test ng folder and select this test ng class. Anything is fine. I feel test ng typing and selecting the test ng class uh, makes more sense. Okay. And click on next. So under the pack one, okay, I will name this class as sample class. Okay. And click on finish. I'm just creating the test ng class, guys. I nowhere mentioned that either a test method need to be created, but since it is a test ng class, it's not a normal Java class. Okay, just click on finish guys. The moment you click on finish, you see a sample class with at the rate test, test ng test method, okay, is already created. I don't have to create again. I want to modify the name, okay? Uh, sample method one like this. If I want to modify the name, I can modify. You see this much simple it is to auto generate a class having at the rate test, test ng, method okay so otherwise guys if you have to do the same thing what do you have to do uh, if you don't create test ng class then you have to create a normal java class right click new class like this okay i'll say sample 2 okay this sample class and here test ng test method will not come by default you have to create it manually okay public void i have to type everything okay sample 2 method and then on the top of that i have to provide at the rate Test annotation over the mouse, and I have to import this from test ng. All these steps I have to do. This will take time, but this process of creating the test ng class directly, having a test ng test method whenever you are need and whenever you want to save time is more beneficial in Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID is providing this option where you can directly create a class having a test ng test method and go with the process. Okay, so much easy it is. Whether this uh, sample class, which is a uh, Having a test ng test method auto generated is working or not. Let's see system.out.println. I'll just give my name here. Okay. Uh, Arun Moturi or something. Okay. I'll just give my name and then right click here and say run as test ng test. And if you are getting the output here, okay, you're getting my name in the output and the results also you can see test ng results are coming here. The test got passed because nothing got failed here. Okay. So this is working fine, guys. Uh, test ng class which is auto generating that the rate test test ng test method is working fine. So that's what I want to show you in this session, guys. Uh, this is going to save time, okay? This kind of concept is going to save time in Eclipse ID. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test ng topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.